This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. If you don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos, that being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos that I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see how I'm analyzing the data. As you can see from my tweets, this morning there was 60,000 AMC shares available to short. And even though you know retail's not selling, pension funds not selling, they are pushing the price down of AMC, they're pushing the price down uh, uh, of the, the ape stock. And, and, and the thing is, they're letting other funds run. They're letting other mem stocks run. And you know why they let those other stocks run? They trying to trick us out of position. They trying to get us to sell and jump into to these other plays. Okay? And the reason they let these other things run, they want us to get into these other plays. But the thing is, we're smarter than that. We have been in this play for 24 months. We know every trick that they play now. So they can do whatever they want. They can let all these other plays, they can let it run. Let BBY run. Let all these other plays run. But we are not selling our shares. Okay? They can't allow Ape and AMC to run. Because when Ape and AMC runs, they are not coming back. Bankruptcy is going to be the least of their worries. Because after they lose to us financially, a lot of them are going to have to answer to the Department of Justice because all the criminal actions that has taken place in the last 24 months. These people have been committing felonies and they need to be held accountable. As far as I'm concerned, TikTok hedges, justice is coming. And I believe the generational transfer wealth is coming really, really soon because they're in too deep. You can tell by the shares that are available to short is going down and they can keep making the counterfeit shares and keep making the counterfeit shares and keep pushing them in the market. And all the retail investors do is buy them up. So they don't have that liquidity and they gotta buy them all back in order to close their position. And when they buy them all back, the price is going to the roof. Here's the thing. No matter what the price is today, no matter what price they're legally pushing down to, the minute, the minute that they start to cover, as long as a majority of the retail investors hold, the price is gonna go to the roof. It's gonna go to the moon. It's gonna go to the moon. So it doesn't matter what price they're legally pushing down to. When they start to cover, when they're forced to close their position, it's gonna take it to the moon. Inflation, 9.1%, the highest it's been since what, 79, 80 or something like that? The highest it's been. The, 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 the stock market is red. All their, all their blue chip long positions are in the red. The margin calls probably already been initiated. The margin calls already been in, initiated. So at this point, what we gotta do, well, all I'm gonna do is hold and buy a little bit more every day hold and buy a little bit more every day because I believe the Moaz is imminent. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff and tell me what you think about the Moaz being imminent and these hedges are in so much trouble making all these counterfeit shares and putting them in the market. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me. God bless.